Welcome back to another episode of Balling With, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more sports content, sports news, and the overall sports world headlines, everything. With that being said, let's hop right on into it. Today, we will be discussing the crazy trade that went over this weekend. Bradley Bill. Oh, my God. He's a, mm, the end to an era in Washington, D.C. has came and gone. Uh, shout out to John Wall. Shout out to Bradley Bill. Uh, but they are no longer our cornerstone pieces. Those were um, uh, two pivotal pieces in Washington that, uh, yeah, you know, gave us an actual chance to win. Um, and this past weekend, we just traded away our final piece, Bradley Bill. Um, we, in all, in all honesty, I think we should have done this sooner uh, instead of trying to waste his career the last three seasons. Uh, it's been targeted the past three seasons. Him and Dame Lillard are both in trade talks, and both of them been, you know been pretty loyal to their teams uh so let's dive right into it what did the washington wizards receive from the phoenix suns uh to make them make this trade um and they only received chris paul right here and landry shamit and a few uh second round picks and i think they're going to do some trade swaps uh in the future as well um we're getting two guards and some second round picks overall i think as a wizards fan we got finessed to the highest level we wasn't even able to get uh deandre ayton which is crazy to me i don't know how we were to tr able to trade one of our best players and get a retirement chris paul and a subpar guard uh, that we've seen briefly in this year's playoffs um he had a few shots but that's all i recall him seeing do and, and landry shamit um it just doesn't sit right with me the only thing that you know people are saying uh, why the Wizards won this trade because it freed up so much cap space. We're able to move on and actually start a, an entire new rebuild, which is, you know, uh, the goal, I would say. Uh, you know, we just traded away Roy Hachimura uh, and a few other players that, uh, you know, Thomas Bryant, Troy Brown, that are all was in the playoffs this season. Uh, so it baffles me. Um, but we do have Corey, Chris Stepp, uh, Posing is still on the uh, roster, and Kyle Kuzma, but... Um, We'll see what this um offseason holds with the Wizards and see what they'll do. It might be a whole rebuild, but we can't get no first round picks for the Suns. Then, you know, I don't know how we how you make this trade at all. But um, we're looking at the Chris Paul trade with the um Los Angeles Clippers. It might be another reunion with that. Um, the Wizards are trying to hold and send off Chris Paul for at least a first round pick because we wasn't able to get that at all so um that's the best we can do and i honestly don't even want to see chris paul play for the washington wizards uh that would just be an end to his career we'll give him to someone else the lakers or somebody man would, would take him bro like not the washington wizards that's like they did him dirty two multiple times in his career i thought he was going to win a ring they did him dirty with the okc when he left over there by himself yeah, it's crazy um the, the, it's a business is business like they say um but we'll see how that plays out and like i said some NBA executives believe Washington Wizards won the deal. Um, let's dive into it a little bit. Uh, I think they was talking about yeah, freeing the cap space. The Suns will be slammed with cap, salary cap. Even when the trade, they don't have no picks. They barely even have any money to even fill out their whole entire roster, uh, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Um, Kevin Durant looks like he just wants to f uh, build super teams, you know. Uh, pretty crazy, but this is the article here. I don't know what they're doing down there, but uh, let's hop on right over. I'm going to click on the articles outside the Twitter links. But uh, this is the last one we're going to look at as well. Uh, just to sum up all of this trade, the craziness, the end of the era, John Wall, Bradley Bill. Uh, we just got finesse. The Wizards, uh, they better get the number three pick or something. Something has to happen uh, this summer for me to, you know, be in on the rebuild. Um, but here, you know, we requested to get um, – DeAndre Ayton in a trade, which he played pitiful to me versus the Denver Nuggets in the playoffs anyway. I wouldn't really want him, but, I mean, he would have been a nice accessory to grab to get, you know, something valuable uh, from this Bradley Bill trade. But the Suns declined that, and, you know, now they have DeAndre Ayton, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, and whoever is their fourth player. Um, and the Wizards, you know, we get left with no first-round picks, second-round picks only. Uh, and just a guard. So it's not like we're just freeing up space. We're not even getting no draft capital. But thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back with more sports news, sports content, sports headlines. Um, and sign art.